mom did tell me she went in there, they fought a fraternity test. And it just, basically I can say it was a whole lot of running around with that case. It was a whole lot of things. My name is Leticia Maser from Cambridge Broward. My mom, her name is Lisa Maser. She has multiple sclerosis. I don't know that Jay-Z was my father all my life. The daughter he got. I'm not hiring my daughter for nobody. The whole reason to get money is for your kids. And then she does this little shoulder move. After innumerable times, Jay-Z has been exposed for having secret kids, and Beyonce has finally lost her cool over the matter. Even if she did forgive Jay-Z for cheating on her once, she made sure that she'll not forgive anything now, and particularly if that anything means secret abandoned kids. This sure snatched the ground off Jay-Z's feet, since it's not the first time this allegation's been put forward on him. His life has always been a bumpy road after all. One after another, people have claimed different things about him. So what exactly is the truth behind this rumor? Let's find out. Jay-Z's whole life has been a thriller movie after all, and he made sure headlines are never leaving him behind. But all hell broke loose when, strangely, two groomed kids started claiming that Jay-Z is their father. Not only that, they even accused him of never owning them or even acknowledging them. And now Beyonce is too not ready to have it this time. Well, it all started when rumors started making rounds on the internet that Jay-Z has a secret daughter. But no one paid heed to it until the secret daughter in the whole picture came forward. And guess what? She made sure to announce on every social media platforms, whether it's on Insta, YouTube, Facebook, that she is indeed Jay-Z's abandoned daughter. In her Instagram post, she broke the silent and captioned the post with, Join me as I tell you my story of living in the shadows of being Jay-Z's daughter in a city where every Everyone knew he was my father. She went on to share the sad reality of her life regarding her mother, Letitia's mother, Lisa, is a patient of multiple sclerosis. Not only that, Lisa was unfortunate enough to be abandoned by her baby daddy before succumbing to such a deadly condition. The 28-year-old woman added, How growing up, I watched multiple sclerosis take its toll on my mom, taking my fun mom that I've always known to be 24-hour bedridden. We were ordinary people. What were we supposed to do? When the man said, do you know how many people call here and say Jay-Z their baby daddy? We left it alone. She continued, but I kept it all together raising four kids, including a set of twins while going to school full time, working two jobs at the prison and the hospital. I've had a magnificent journey. She further talks about how much she resembles her alleged father, Jay-Z. There's no way he can deny anything, especially when there were people there that knew him. Letitia Maser threw bombshells on him by also recording a video message. In the video statement, she revealed herself as Jay-Z's secret abandoned daughter. She said that she grew up hearing Jay-Z is her dad. My name is Letitia Maser from Cambridge Broward. My mom, her name is Lisa Maser. She has multiple sclerosis. I didn't know that Jay-Z was my father all my life. Letitia cleared the air further by answering a slew of unanswered issues in her video message. However, she was afraid that others might think that she is just after Jay-Z's money, which she is not. She merely wants to be acknowledged in public and treated with the same respect as Jay-Z's other children, which is reasonable given that she spent the most of her life in the shadows. There's no way that he can deny anything, especially when people were there that know him. Letitia and Lisa Fan Club chimed in on the drama and also provided their support. One of the fans said, They shouldn't even have to say it's not about the money. If she is his daughter, then she should be living the same lifestyle that he is. Period. Her other social media handles, such as her Instagram bio, also read as Jay-Z's daughter. As if that wasn't enough pressure on the rapper, Letitia penned a book titled Heir to the Throne, a memoir of Jay-Z's secret daughter. So not only do we have considerable video proof, but the entire story has been accurately documented for all of us to see. This really put off Jay-Z and Beyonce's fan clubs. Well, some people didn't take this lightly and came forward to stand with the right. One of the fans said, I feel really bad for her. Rather knowing if she's his daughter or not, not knowing who your father is, is bad enough. But to have an idea that a famous man is your dad and you'll never know for sure is horrible. 
We all know if it ain't pertaining to B, it's going unrecognized. And if she has to trust him and his people with a DNA test, it's automatically going to deny their relationship. Watch. Anyways, this isn't the only person who's claimed to be Jay-Z's flesh and blood, as Rymir Satterthwaite has also been entangled in a legal battle with Jay-Z for 10 years over claims that the rapper is his biological father. While Jay-Z has always denied the claims, he's never done anything substantial to prove these claims are wrong. The fact that he doesn't have solid proof to deny this shows Jay-Z is indeed guilty. My mom did tell me she went in there and fought a fraternity test, and it just... Basically, I can say it was a whole lot of running around with that case. It was a whole lot of things. Rymir Satterthwaite has been trying to establish that Jay-Z is his biological father since he was 21, and he's now bringing that struggle to the Supreme Court in an attempt to unseal the case and force Carter to undergo a DNA test. Speaking to DailyMail.com about the latest twist in the roller coaster case, Rymir claimed that he wants nothing more than to see justice served and that he will go to any length to see that happen. He went on to say that all he wants from the wealthy rapper who is married to pop queen Beyonce is for Jay-Z to accept him as his son. However, Jay-Z's attorneys dismissed Rymir's claims in a statement to DailyMail.com by claiming the allegations have already been extensively evaluated by the courts and have been disproved. I am confident that will be the conclusion of whatever filings Mr. Satterthwaite may be now considering happens. But this is not going to be over until justice is served. Rymir further says, I just want to live my life, and when it is all said and done, I hope that Jay-Z would want to be a part of my life, if that is God's will. I won't stop fighting for this until I win. And I will win because the law is on our side. To that end, Rymir filed a new motion with the New Jersey Supreme Court in February of this year, requesting that the court unseal years' worth of documents dating back to 2012, arguing that keeping the case secret has denied him due process. Not only that, Rymir also claims that in the autumn of 1992, his late mother Wanda said she had sex with Jay-Z while in an on-again, off-again relationship with her high school boyfriend. Wanda was 16 at the time, and Jay-Z was 22, far from the worldwide rap superstar he is today. But according to Rymir's claims, the connection was brief, and by the time he was born in July of 1993, the supposed romance between his mother and Jay-Z had ended. That's why, he said, the mother picked the name of her high school boyfriend, Robert Graves, who had rekindled his romance with Wanda by that time. When Rymir was eight years old, he says his mother told him that Jay-Z, who by his stage name had made a name for himself as a global music icon, was his real father. When the court issued an order, Robert agreed to undergo genetic testing proving once without any shadow of a doubt that he and Rymir had no biological relation. Robert's name was removed from Rymir's birth certificate by the court and has remained blank ever since. Rymir began pursuing legal action against Jay-Z in 2012, a struggle that has lasted more than 10 years and has seen the couple entangled in a never-ending legal war with the rapper. During that period, Rymir believes that Jay-Z's legal team has made many attempts to circumvent the judicial system in order to avoid taking a paternity test which he claims would put a stop to the lawsuit for good. Rymir's latest Supreme Court request, which has been viewed by DailyMail.com and details how the case began with a pretrial in Camden County, Jersey on August 13, 2012, includes documentation regarding every court hearing. Despite many news articles tying him to residences in Alpine and Newport, Jay-Z's legal team contended that the musician should be immune from conducting a DNA test in New Jersey since he did not live or own any property in the state. My client does not have contacts in New Jersey. He doesn't own residences. He doesn't own anything in Alpine. He doesn't own anything in Newport. I don't know why that information is out there. It is on the internet, his lawyer told the court. Since then, Jay-Z has avoided the paternity test for both his alleged son and daughter, but Beyonce's rage on the matter never seems to end anytime soon. And that is quite understandable. Looks like Jay-Z is not the one who holds himself accountable for his past actions. But we aren't sure whether Jay-Z will shut everyone off by taking a paternity test or keep on hiding in the shadows. And you never know what the future holds. That's it for today. Until next time, goodbye.